Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting new brand to share with you guys. What's Up Beauty reached out to me and sent me a little package. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on their new eyeshadow palette, their gorgeous brushes, then just keep watching. I just want to give a friendly reminder to my new subscribers, my existing subscribers. Can you guys make sure if you have notifications turned on for my channel that they are still on because YouTube is like messing with me, I swear. And so I just wanted to remind you guys to make sure you're subscribed if you haven't checked in a while and make sure your notifications are turned on. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, I'm so excited. I saw Annette's Makeup Corner post about this brand and I was so pumped when they reached out to me and offered to send me their new collection. I believe the brand originally started as a nail polish company and now they're branching into eyeshadows as well as brushes and this collection is already live on their website so I will link it down in the description box if you guys are interested in shopping. And just to let you know, this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I'm gonna switch up how I do this video today. Usually I'll insert clips, but I thought it would be so fun if I swatched this while talking to you guys. So it says on the back here, this is the Desert Monsoon Eyeshadow Palette. It is a net weight of 0.39 ounces or 11 grams, made in Italy, assembled in the USA, talc free, cruelty free, and it is 24 month shelf life. Let me tell you, I use this little palette to do this eye look today and I can definitely tell these eyeshadows are made in Italy because they are so smooth and they apply so well and I hardly had to put in any effort to get these to blend so I'm very very excited. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's actually pretty tiny and I'm kind of into that because I never go through my eyeshadows anyway so this is $41 and there are five creamy mattes, one duochrome, three duochrome metallics, one sparkle metallic, and two satins in here. So let's go ahead and swatch because I feel like I've been talking for an hour already. And I did use this shade Glow on my inner corner today. The shade Canyon is in my crease. And then I did skip the more colorful metallics but I'm very excited because I will definitely be trying them out in a upcoming makeup look like when I'm playing with makeup in my spare time but yeah these mattes are definitely very creamy and I'm so happy about that this shade is a beautiful like pink duochrome kind of like what we've seen in the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 1 palette so there are the first four shades so freaking pretty oh my gosh this blue shade called downpour is so stunning okay so the next three shades are downpour thunder and dust storm thunder i have in my outer corner and dust storm is on my brow bone this shade downpour oh my goodness and then this shade thunder is so beautiful and creamy and dark so that was really a perfect shade to deepen up the outer corner now some pretty shimmer shades again. Okay, so here are the next three shades. We have Humidity, Sun, and Cactus. And Sun and Cactus I used on my lids today. So very, very pretty. Ooh. There's those three shades. And then I have two mattes to swatch. Okay, so we have Tempest and Joshua Tree. I did use Joshua Tree in my inner corner and it was so easy to use. So here are the swatches of the entire palette on my skin tone and I really, really think this is such a beautiful color story. The cool part about this brand is that they started in nail polish. So there is a nail polish collection that draws inspiration from this color story or I don't know if they did it vice versa but there are six nail polish shades and they are definitely inspired by the shadows in this palette so let me show you the first one this is called downpour and this is the blue foil with duochrome shimmer and it looks just like the eyeshadow so that's so fun I really wish I didn't have acrylics right now because 
I really want to try this nail polish formula. You guys know how much I love nail polish. So that'll be one of the things I do as soon as I get my acrylics off. And then we have this beautiful shade, which is Tempest. And this is a mauve cream color. So again, it does match that matte shade in the palette. This one has to be sun. Yep, this is sun. So this is the shade in my inner lid. And there is the swatch and there is the corresponding eyeshadow and that is a gold foil with a duochrome shimmer. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. We have three more nail polishes. So this one is called Joshua Tree, which is a cool tone shade I swatch at the end. So there's what that looks like. That looks like a great neutral shade for your nails. And then we have this color, which is called Desert Rose and that's that beautiful duochrome gold pink shade such a pretty like everyday nail polish color with a hint of sparkle if you're into that and then the last shade is called succulent which is that beautiful shade up here which is a purple with duochrome flakies and it's so stunning i love the nail polishes i love the corresponding eyeshadow palette i feel like that's so fun the only brand i can really think of that did something similar is when kale polish did the nail polishes that corresponded to her collaborations with ColourPop. If you guys know other brands that have done that, definitely let me know. But the nail polishes do retail for $12.75. I'm not sure if they have a bundle, but I can definitely check and link it for you down below. And these are made in the USA. They're cruelty-free and vegan. There's 11 milliliters in each bottle and there are 12 free formula. And these are a long wear formula, which obviously I'm not sure yet because I haven't tried them on my nails, but they look really promising. I really, really like the shades for sure. So the next item they sent me are their brushes and I used three of them today to create this eye look. And these are made in Japan and they're goat hair brushes. So these retail for $22 and $23 depending on the brush and so far they work really great. I haven't washed these yet. They work really nicely and I'm so happy I was able to try them out. I wasn't sure what to expect from the packaging. I didn't think these were gonna be Japanese made goat hair brushes, but oh my gosh, they're so good and I'm so excited because you guys know I love like my Wayne Goss brushes and like, look at this. This one looks so similar to the Wayne Goss number 16. So yeah, I'll have to compare the prices, but I feel like there are a lot of similar shapes in my very expensive brush collection. So I'm so grateful to the brand for sending these over as well. And these do pick up powder really well. And it does say the ferrule was produced from a more durable brass as compared to aluminum and the double crimp to the horn beam handle for long lasting stability. So that's really, really cool. I'm so pumped. You guys know I love I love having eye brushes because I go through them so much with all the different makeup looks I do. So very thankful for the brand for sending me those. Now let's go ahead and get into the demo of how I created this makeup look. Okay, so this palette has some beautiful neutral mattes and then some pops of color. So I think I'm going to play with the neutrals today and either put glow or desert rose or maybe sun or cactus on my lids today. We'll see how it works out. So I'm gonna go into the shade Canyon, which is a kind of darker leaning brown shade. And I did prime my eyes with my favorite eyeshadow primer, the Juvia's Blaze primer. I did pick up the new ones from Glam Light. I don't know if you guys saw those but Glamlight launched $10 eyeshadow primers. And I think the Juvia's Place ones are $10 too, aren't they? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I'm curious to compare to the Glamlight. But I can't believe that more brands are coming out. Type of eyeshadow primer, I'm so happy because the P. Louise primers are kind of hard to get a hold of and either you buy them on the P. Louise website or you have to buy them on like Morphe, I believe. So. I'm happy to see other brands coming out with almost better quality. This eyeshadow is blending so beautifully all over the crease and I don't even have to do that much work. The blend is absolutely stunning. I wish my nose would stop stinging. Other than that, we're having a perfectly pleasant day here at my makeup studio. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in to Joshua Tree with the same brush. It's like a lighter kind of, I don't wanna call it a cool tone brown, but it kind of looks like it's a cool tone brown. And I'm gonna kind of use that to blend the inner corner and go into the middle half of my crease. Okay, and then I wanna use the shade Thunder, which is the darkest shade I believe in the palette. It's like a dark, dark chocolatey brown color and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner and I'm just gonna blend that into the middle half of the crease. I'm not gonna bring it all the way to the inner corner because it's a very dark shade. I'm just using it to create my regular old smoky eye. If you're here on my channel often, <laughs> you know the drill. I will say this thought just did occur to me these videos are definitely not like tutorials for me. I just like to sit and show you guys a demo because sometimes it's fun to see how the eyeshadow looks like on somebody while they're like while we're doing it. I think it gives you like a really good idea of what to expect from a palette. And so I hope you're not interpreting this as like me trying to teach you how to do an eyeshadow look because it's really not. I'm just showing you how I like to do my eyeshadow and then kind of giving you like a first impressions of the eyeshadows based off of how they apply, how easy they are to blend and even the brushes like how well they work, is their hair falling out, do they feel flimsy, which none of those things are happening right now. This palette is a dream to work with. I'm actually really shook. Like I didn't know what to expect, but man, oh man, am I loving this one. If you're looking for a great everyday neutral matte look, this might be where you would want to check <laughs> this palette out. So I'm going to go into Dust Storm and just apply it with this flat brush. This is the R106 brush, which they call the flat shader eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go into Dust Storm and just hit it up here on my brow bone. I don't usually do a brow bone highlighter because, I don't know, I don't really think about it, but since there is a shade in here, I might as well just go for it before I use this same brush for the lid shade. I'm so excited to try out the shimmers from this brand now because the mattes were truly impressive. I mean, there's so many neutral palettes out there, you guys know, and especially from so many brands I love. Like, Sigma just came out with the bomb neutral palette. I just bought the Patrick Ta neutral palette because I'm so curious about that one. This palette, it does say that there's five creamy mattes and I can definitely feel the creamy matte texture just from the way they blend. It's so pretty. So I really like that. There's one duochrome, which is sun. That definitely looks like a duochrome. For, uh, it's a duochrome foil, I should say. And then there's three duochrome metallics and we've got one sparkle metallic called humidity. Ooh, that looks pretty too. And then we have two satin cactus and glow, which are also stunning. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just going to swatch this like while I talk through them because I'm so excited. But what shade do I want to put on my lids? Oh my God. Should we foil sun? Actually, let me start off with cactus, which is what they call the satin formula. And I'm going to put that on the, oh, yes. I'm going to put it on the outer corner and blend it into the matte shade I used to smoke out the outer corner. I didn't even have to spray that. It's just applying beautifully. And then I'm going to go into the shade Sun and I'm going to spray Sun, I think, because I think I should give my brush a little shower. Oh yeah. This is so pretty. I think we found another new good brand, you guys. I remember how I felt when I watched my friend Annette review its bell and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that palette. And sometimes you just stumble upon a new brand with a good product. I mean, I think What's Up, they used to just do nail polish and so they're just getting into eyeshadow, but oh my goodness, I cannot wait to play with this palette some more because this is so pretty as is. 
Okay, I don't think I need more metallic. I just keep putting it on. So let me just stop and then let me just blend. I did get a little bit of fallout from the shade Sun, but I can fix that with the makeup wipe. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that quick demo. Let me really quick tell you what else is on my face just so you know in case you're curious so the lip color is the kaleidos cloud lap lip clay and this is the shade mahogany i was really feeling like a dark lip today and i love this color it's so beautiful it's a chocolatey brown so i thought it paired really well with the eye look i also bought back my nars concealer oh my gosh this is doing so good under my eyes right now so i'm gonna keep trying that out because i bought a few other concealers to try out but i'm really liking this one so that is a win i also tried the chantecaille powder oh my gosh i loved reading you guys' comments on the video where i featured these two products i had a lot of people telling me that they thought this powder was pretty overhyped i still haven't made up my mind about it i know that less is more so i haven't been like going crazy with it but I'm also not one of those people that notices a huge difference when I powder my face. So we'll have to see. I'm still testing this out. But the bronzer, definitely, you guys know, I'm really enjoying this. I also saw some comments saying that there were a lot of people that don't like the new cream bronzer formula because Chanel did reformulate this. Personally, I like it. I think it lasts really well. I think it blends really well. I know that one person that definitely has been vocal about not liking the new formula is Mel Thompson. And I don't know if it's like an ingredient thing for her because I do believe she has more probably sensitive skin than me. So keep that in mind. Not 100% sure though, but I just wanted to mention that I'm still really loving the Chanel bronzer. I'm also wearing the Kosas Airbrow. This is in the shade, oh my god, dark. And these are okay. I'm just letting you guys know because I bought this in a Sephora sale video and I don't think I've told you guys like my thoughts. I think it's nice. I like the packaging. The price is not bad. So I kept it, but it's nothing to like go crazy about. And then I did try out the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. This was sent to me by Look Fantastic. I did a video with them. It's my last new makeup releases video if you guys are curious to see it i forgot to put this on but i have worn this since twice this is my second time wearing it it's a light coverage but it's so nice and dewy and i also put a little bit of the gucci foundation on over it just for a little bit of added coverage it doesn't feel like there's a lot of product in this tube so i'm interested to see how long this lasts because as you can see it's very it's very skinny, so I don't know, whatever though. And then for blush, I'm wearing two of the new Pat McGrath blushes. I am going to do a little video with these, so I'll do swatches and everything in that video. But I have on two shades. I have Paradise, Venus, and uh, Desert Orchid combined in this makeup look. So very, very pleased with those so far. And I think that video might be up before this one, so... Just go ahead and check back in my videos if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the new Pat McGrath blushes. So sorry, I took so long to explain, but it's so nice to be able to mention products in the video so that in case I forget to link them, then you guys at least know some of my thoughts. And sometimes these products are new, so I still wanna be able to talk to you guys about them. Now, as far as What's Up Beauty goes, I don't know if you guys could tell in the tutorial but i'm really impressed with this palette i thought the mattes were beautiful the metallics are so so pretty is this like the most life-changing color story i've ever experienced absolutely not but if you are really into some of the original pat mcgrath color stories because i really see that like blue shade from her like I think like Mothership Warner 2, she has a blue shade like that. She's got some of these like green shades in Mothership 3. I know 1, 2, and 3. This kind of feels like it's got some of those really cool metallic shades that she has in there. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you're looking for a decent dupe palette, this might be a good option for you guys and the quality is so so good so i'm very very excited and i really like the eyeshadow brushes as well so very very happy to have been able to try this brand out i will definitely keep you guys posted in my rankings video if i have more thoughts or if i change my mind about this palette but so far 
I'm like ridiculously impressed by this palette. So yeah, I just had to let you know that I really like this brand so far and I can't wait to see what's next with them. So that is everything for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. And again, please make sure you're subscribed if you have been subscribed before because I don't know, YouTube is playing me right now and I'm on my, on my 10K journey. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys could do me a favor, check to make sure you're subscribed. Check out What's Up Beauty. Let me know if you're planning on checking them out down in the comments or maybe you've already bought from them. And if so, let us know your thoughts because we are nosy and we want to know here on my channel. This is the longest outro ever. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.